So today I want to talk about battle of the three big cities here in the Philippines, Manila, Cebu City, Davao City. Let's talk. So the Philippines is made up of a lot of big cities. There's 110 plus million people over here. Some cities are quite big. Others are very small called province areas. But in this video, I want to talk about the three biggest cities here in the Philippines. Look at some pros, look at some cons and see where might be a great place for you to live if you're considering moving to the Philippines. So first is Manila. So when most people think of the Philippines, they think about Manila. And Manila is just really a huge sprawling city, millions of people there. Here in the Philippines, people talk about Metro Manila, which is basically the whole area of Manila incorporating a lot of cities. So Manila is very diverse. And so when we look at the pros of Manila, it really depends on where you live. There are areas where people really struggle to make it. There's a lot of poverty and there's also places like Forbes that's just a very exclusive wealthy area where celebrities like Manny Pacquiao and others live that the houses are just astronomical. So when I'm talking about Manila for the purposes of this video, I'm really thinking of areas that are like Makati or BGC or Pasay different areas where the standard of living is pretty decent, not super exclusive areas, but just nice areas to live in in Manila, like Makati or BGC or Alabang. So what's the pros? For me, the big pros of living in Manila is that there's just so much culture and life there, day and night. It's just a great city with so many things that you could do. There are a lot more arts there, museums, huge range of entertainment, lots of great places to eat. You could live in Manila for years and years and you would not be able to figure out all of the things that you could do in Manila. So if you're the kind of person that really wants a wide selection of everything, that wants to be able to go out day or night and just enjoy life, Manila is a great place for you. If you are someone that is focused on business, again, Manila is a great place for you. Most big businesses when they start in the Philippines start in somewhere in Manila. And that's because so much goes in and out of Manila with imports, exports, there's so much commerce existing there, so many multinational businesses there, but people will often then wind up in somewhere like Cebu City or Davao City, setting up secondary businesses in places like that. I did it a bit backwards where I started an office first in Cebu City, and now we are opening up places in Manila and Davao and trying to build up our employee bases in those places. Now, secondly is Cebu City. This is where I've lived most of the last four years that I've been in the Philippines. I love Cebu, it feels like home. For me, the pros here are that it's kind of a middle of the road place. It's not super congested and densely populated like Manila, but it's also not so small that you don't have basically anything that you would want here with everyday life. I find that Cebu City people and Cebu people in general are incredibly friendly. People have a smile, people are very warm, hospitable, maybe not like you would get in a smaller province area, but still I find for being a big city, Cebu people are just so warm, welcoming, fun to be around, and it's really just a great place for everyday life. Now Davao City is the place where I spent the least amount of time out of these three places, but what I noticed immediately here is that the streets are wider, there's more lanes, there's sidewalks everywhere. People actually follow the road rules. They aren't gonna speed, they aren't gonna do U-turns in like a middle of like traffic like they're gonna do here in Cebu City. It's very orderly, it's very clean. Davao City is known as the safest city in the Philippines. People say that you could go out in the most dangerous area in the whole city at 3 a.m. with an expensive bag or cell phone out and you're gonna be perfectly fine. Maybe don't test that one out, but without an exception, everybody always has so many good things to say about the infrastructure, orderliness, cleanliness, safety of Davao. Also, I find that it's a big city. It's very big and sprawling, and it also has so much to offer there, just in terms of amenities, 
restaurants, stuff to do. And so Davao is really a great place to consider as well. So what about the cons? Filipinos don't like if you talk about cons, especially of their city. So my apologies in advance. But for me, what are the cons of Manila? Well, it's a bit of the traffic. If you hit things at the wrong time, then that's definitely gonna be an impact like it is in any big densely populated city. Trying to find a taxi in Manila. I don't know why that's hard. With the taxis in Manila, sorry Manila taxi drivers, Actually, I'm not that sorry, but you're gonna find at times that it's just hard to get someone that's gonna turn the meter on and that's just gonna take you where you need to go. Often they're gonna wanna haggle with you. So I find that if you're in Manila, the way to get around this con is just order a Grab. It's an app on your phone that will let you hail a Grab taxi wherever you may be. But other than that, not much to complain about with Manila. I think it's a great place to live. Now, Cebu City, when it comes to the cons, I gotta say that whenever people complain about traffic in Manila, I just kind of look at them like, do you think Manila is the only place with crazy traffic? I live and work around the Cebu Business Park and Cebu IT Park area. There are tens of thousands of people here working day and night, not very wide roads, and I just find the traffic here is crazy. So it's not just Manila where you're dealing with a lot of traffic. Cebu City is building so many tall high-rise buildings, but the roads aren't necessarily changing much. And so that really means that traffic here is a little bit crazy as well. Speaking of driving in Cebu City, it's a little crazy as well. You take your life into your own hands. But other than that, I really find that there aren't too many cons about Cebu City. Sometimes the prices are a little bit higher here and other parts of the Philippines compared to Manila because so much is just imported into Manila and then logistically it has to be sent to Cebu City or other places. So you're actually gonna find prices cheaper in Manila than cities like Cebu City or Davao City. So think of those type of things when you consider living in Cebu City. So how about the cons in Davao City? Here, things shut down a bit earlier, and I think part of that is making sure that they keep crime levels low and things like that, but if you're the kind of person that wants to be out late, if you wanna be drinking past 12 o'clock, there are laws and rules against some of these types of things that for you might be a bit of a con for your lifestyle, so think about those type of things if you're considering moving to Davao City. So if you live in any of these places, has visited any of these places, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think the pros or cons are? Do you think I've been unfair about any of these things or inaccurate? This is a conversation. Drop a comment below. And in the meantime, don't forget to check out these videos. Take care.